Hi, this is Remington with Cerakote Robotics. Today we're going to teach you guys how to jog the robot. So we have seven axes on this robot that we're going to jog. Uh, group one is the arm itself, which is six. And then group two, which has one axis, which is the turntable. Okay, to start this process, we need to go ahead and get the teaching pennant enabled. And we're going to do that by switching the auto mode into teach mode on the FANUC controller. Then we're going to turn the teaching pennant on. Then we're going to depress the dead man switch. And remember guys, this is a three position switch, so ensure that you're holding it in the middle and you hear the audible click from the robot and you see your fault uh, light has cleared. If that fault light is present, it means you have that depressed incorrectly. Now if you get scared, you can squeeze or you can let go and that will kill the movement of the robot. So a few things to cover here. Uh, we want to make sure that when you're first learning how to jog this robot, that you don't go above 50% speed until you're familiar with what each joint does and the, the keys associated with them, okay? Uh, once you're more comfortable, if you want to jog it around at 100%, you're more than welcome to, uh, but do it at your own risk, okay? So you're gonna hold that dead man switch in. You're gonna hold the shift key on while doing both of those things. Then you can come over here to your coordinate groups. So you have J1, X positive and negative, J2, Y positive and negative, J3, Z positive and negative, J4, X positive and negative, J, Y, positive, negative, and J, 6, positive, negative. Now you notice we have J, 7, but J, 7 will not work until we enable a different group for the turntable because it's two different sets of coordinates. So down here, you'll see your group button. That coordinates to this black bar right here. You're in G1 joint right now. So you're gonna be moving only the, each individual joint of group one, which is the robot arm itself. To switch to the turntable, you would hit the group button and change this to G2 joint. Now you'll just be moving the turntable, okay? Uh, when you're moving the turntable, it'll only be J1, uh, the X negative and positive right here. Okay, so we're gonna switch back to G1 joint for right now, and we'll just move each axis so you can see what each one of these buttons will actually do to the robot. All right, dead man's held on, shift key, and we're gonna go in the X negative position. So you can see the robot swivels to the right, and we'll move it to the left. Y, it's gonna bring it down and up. Z negative is going to go down, Z positive up, X negative is going to roll to the right, and positive is going to roll to the left, Y negative is going to go down, and Y positive is going to go up, and then Z is the end of arm tooling, it's going to make it roll right or roll left, okay? So it's really important to know how to operate each individual joint, because if you ever have to remaster the robot or recalibrate it, you'll need to get these scribe marks lined up perfectly. Now we're moving at 50%, it's pretty fast. If I go up to 100%, it'll go really fast. So you can imagine trying to get those scribe marks lined up perfectly would be pretty difficult. So at that rate, we can go ahead and drop the percentage down all the way to 3%, 2%, 1%, and now you're not even able to physically see the robot move with your naked eye. You have to get up close and personal and make sure that you see those scribe marks lined perfectly, okay? Uh, so that's jogging the robot. Um, we're going to go ahead and jog to uh, group two now, uh, which is the turntable, okay? So we're going to do that by selecting the group button, and we're now going to be in G2 joint, and then we'll walk over to the turntable so you can actually see that move. Next, we have group two, axis one, which is the turntable. Uh, we're going to ensure that this pointer is lined up with the scribe mark on the base of the turntable, and if it is, we're in good shape. Okay, so you can now see by moving the X negative and X positive uh, coordinate keys, we can now make this turntable move back and forth. Now this is done in G2 joint. If we were in G1, we would not be able to move the turntable. So make sure you have group two selected instead of group one. 